Welcome to Mount Rushmore National Memorial. My name is Anthony Killian. I'm a seasonal interpretation ranger here at Mount Rushmore National Memorial. I've been working for the Park Service for two years now since I was an intern here in 2015. I first learned about the internship when I was a senior in college. To complete my degree in recreation, I had to do at least a 12-week internship. And as I was looking all over the country for a place to go, specifically within the Park Service, uh, my advisor sent me an email with a flyer for some interns to come and work at Mount Rushmore over the summer to do interpretive programming for visitors. Interpretation is a fancy word that means we're connecting people to the resource. We answer the question, why should I care? Our job as interpretation rangers is to help them care about the resource, to maybe see it in a different light, a new perspective, so that when they leave, they can go, okay, that's why I came into the park. That's, that's why I care about this place, why it's special. Uh, we're kind of gatekeepers uh, of information of the stories that these parks preserve all across America. When I was working here day to day, what we would always do is man the information center desk and the visitor center desk. Part of our other duties were giving ranger programs. So we had two that we had to do. One was a, a longer 30 minute ranger's choice program where we could talk about pretty much whatever we wanted as long as it was related to Mount Rushmore. Our other talk was quite a bit shorter. It was only 15 minutes long. That was down in the sculptor's studio. There we, we had to focus on how the mountain was carved, the techniques, the tools that were used, the people who were instrumental in making the memorial happen here in the Black Hills. When we first got up here in May, we spent about two weeks in training. So in those two weeks, we had kind of a crash course on the history of the memorial, what tools were used, how they were used, the important people who really got this project started. And on top of that, we had some interpretation coaches who worked closely with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis to help us hone our skills, to give us pointers that we needed to write effective programs to present to the public when they would come up here. It was a very hands-on process. We were very well prepared by the time programs started at the end of May, beginning of June. So there was never a dull moment uh, up here. There was never a lot of time to stand around. You were always on the move. It was very exciting. The place had a very lively energy to it. Mount Rushmore was a place where I learned a lot of skills that were valuable in going to the other parks, whether it be writing programs or working at a, an information center desk or presenting to small groups and large groups. Mount Rushmore really gives you a little bit of it all that you might experience in the Greater National Park Service system. And that helps prepare you for working at any other park if you choose to go that route and make this a professional career for yourself.